What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to talk bosses, specifically one of my favorite creatures in Ark to take to battle the Broodmother Lysrix, or the Broodmother as I call her, and that is the Megatherium, the Giant Sloth, yeah. These guys right here, they're pretty dang good at, uh, uh, kicking spider butt, so, but it's, these guys are super, super good, I really prefer them over, uh, aloes and rexes and everything, because they have a, uh, a, uh, buff that they get whenever they are fighting off, uh, insects, and since the brood mother is a giant spider, you get where I'm going with this, you know, any bug they fight, and since the brood mother's a bug, they get this really wicked awesome damage buff, they get, in a sense, I see you over there, uh, in a sense they get, uh, enraged like a giga, uh, and that rage, uh, gives them, I can't remember the exact percentage, I want to say 20 or 25 percent damage increase, um, but with the, with these guys, you're taking them into battle, level up their health, give them a little bit of melee, but that, the fact that they become enraged, just focus on their health mainly, their melee, that enragement will take care of their, uh, will take care of their melee damage just fine. Now the Uteranus here, uh, uh, Uteranus, we are actually not going to be, well, first of all, I'm gonna level up his health. So, uh, we're not gonna be taking the Uteranus for this first round. Uh, I've got the artifacts to summon the Gamma. Uh, just to show you guys what I'm talking about. So, we are gonna fight the Gamma Broodmother and see exactly just how fast this works. Because this goes out um, uh, pretty fast. Let's see, are you all in here? You may not be. Okay. So, and I'm always mounted on one of these, but it doesn't matter which one. Because there's no alpha in groups of Megatherium. Okay, so... And... Yeah, go for it. And once they become enraged, they'll start glowing kind of like an alpha. There we go, there's that glow, that orange haze that you can see. So mine doesn't have one yet. There we go. So now mine's enraged. Uh... So yeah, and her health's going down pretty fast. Let me sneak up behind her. But yeah, it goes down pretty fast. Normally I bring a Uteranus with me. I'll take on the smaller ones. But, uh, in this case, for the Gamma, I mean, they're doing pretty well. As long as you have them leveled up, there's, in my opinion, no need for a Uteranus. With the Beta and the Alpha, yes, you probably need... Beta, you'll probably need one. Alpha, definitely, you're gonna need one. Um, hey. Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, see, look, she's already a third of the way down. But yeah, see, it's just, I mean, look at that, we're almost halfway done. So, oh. And I've been fighting the Broodmother, Ga Gamma Broodmother with these guys just forever. Yeah, there we go. Almost two thirds of the way done. Uh, and I haven't been keeping time. I think we're about three minutes in. So. Yeah. Let me. Put the smaller. Yeah, and the cool thing about these guys is that you can equip a weapon while you're riding on them. So, yeah. That, that's something that I find really, that's what I really like about the Megatherium. They're buff, and... Oh, uh... Yeah. Yeah, their buff is just great. And look at how bloody the Broodmother's getting already. Like, so... I rest my case that Megatherium are great for the Broodmother. But, I feel... We should run on a little science experiment. We're going to take on the Broodmother again. Oh no, one of them died. Well. It's what happens. Okay, I don't want to lose anymore, so... So, there we go. you out of the way so I can go recover the saddle. Ooh, mind white tonic. Ooh, Lazarus chowder. Ooh, fry a curry. And I don't really care for the rest. But, uh, that was just one that died, right? So that belongs to the smaller spiders, but let's get back to the green knob. Okay. And let's get you guys leveled up. I know I have some of you on infinite stats, I believe. We're not due for a level yet. You are still partially enraged, just not glowing. 
And I don't know what your deal is. You're stuck. No, I uh, didn't mean to do that. To back you up. Pretty, but hey, you have a level. <sighs> you kidding me? Okay, you spazzing out like that is going to drive me crazy. So, cop a squat. And let me get the artifacts. I like I like parking my Megatherium just right. Okay, and this time we're gonna see how long it takes when you bring a Uteranus in. Let's see with the Uteranus how long it takes to beat the Gamma Broodmother. You're right over here. There we go. The only downside to a Uteranus is that you can't equip. Oop! Didn't mean to do that. You can't equip uh, a weapon when you're riding a Uteranus. So that—that's a downside. But. Yeah, see, she's going down so... She's going down so much faster now. With the Uteranus. We've been in here for 30 seconds. So... I don't 
don't know if the Uteranus makes a difference or not. So... We will... See, but she she's going down fast, so I'd have to say definitely the Uteranus makes a difference. Yeah. Okay, now that I have my screenshot. That should make for a good thumbnail. Yes. This is what I love about Megatherium versus the Broodmother. They're just so... They're just so awesome. And I mean, just look at all that damn- look, we're hitting for over a thousand now. Combination of their enragement and our, uh, courage roar. Oh yeah, Gamma's... Yeah. So that, uh, this right here is proof that Megatherium are, uh, amazing when it comes to Taking down the uh, brood mother. Yep. Here. Let me move y'all over there. Let's see. Hopefully that courage glow will wear off. I'll put you on passive. Let's get another screenshot. There we go. Okay. Let's get off of you. And back to the island. Yep. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, if you did, smash that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys, are you serious, sit down, I don't want to see you spazzing, it drives me crazy, okay, where was I, uh, oh yeah, see you guys next time, like and subscribe, and... In our next video, I'm sure I'm going to make more videos on bosses. Uh, next boss video, we talk about the next guardian, and that is the Megapithecus. And I will see you guys then.